Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new version of the RGB10 Max which is the Panda version which is the black shell with the white interface buttons. So without further ado let's jump right into it. Okay so it's same as last time like a creamy box Nothing spectacular about it, very simple, very plain. As you can see, I have the black version. So let's open it up and see what we're going to get. Now, as you know, I love the RGB 10 Max. I think it's absolutely incredible. I think it's such a nice handheld, nice big screen. I'll tell you what I have ordered, guys, and it is on its way, and I should have it in about five days, which is the Pow Kitty X17. Now, I think, and I do believe, that this is a seven-inch handheld. It's got a new chipset, but I do believe that it is basically an X15 with a facelift. But one thing it has got, it's got an IPS display, it is fully touchscreen. It has got a new chipset in there, but nothing spectacular. But it has got shoulder buttons, uh, L1, R2. It does look interesting. So look forward to seeing a video for that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and welcome. So this is lovely. I absolutely love this. I watched on Retro Game Court. He actually did a mod. Uh, and actually made this version and called it the Panda. And then obviously Pal Kitty then obviously took that version of the name and used it for itself. But I absolutely love it. Great thing is there is no raising of the screen. I don't know if you can see that, but it is perfectly flat. There is no kinks. No gaps. It'd be interesting to see if there is any light bleed. The great thing about this uh, Pal Kitty RGB10 Max is that since I've been using it, it's so comfortable. It really, really is. For using the shoulder buttons and just the placement of everything, it is really, really, really comfortable. So I'm really liking the black version. I think it looks really, really nice. We have our logo. Oh, it's a bit of a finger magnet. I can see that already. You can't really see that with the orange version. Now I did do a mod for that version, guys. So I'll just quickly show you. So as you can see, I modded it with blue buttons. I did do a video, guys. I will leave it in the link at the end of the video if you wish to see how I did it. I spray painted these buttons. One of my subscribers suggested vinyl wrapping them. So I'm gonna look into that and maybe see if we can get some like pearlescent ones and maybe buy a set of buttons from Pal Kitty and then see what type of crazy funky colors we can get out of it. Yeah, so as you can see, you can't really tell if there is any finger marks on here with it being so vibrant and orange, but yeah. On mine, as you can see, it is now fixed down. But when I first got it, there was a little bit of a raised corner here. But it, nothing that I couldn't fix. I just put a bit of adhesive on there and then that was sorted. But I know a lot of people said that their screen was actually popping out. So as you can see with the Panda version, uh, we didn't have any of those problems. Now, another problem that I have with this unit as well which I don't mind, and it's an easy fix, but as you can see in the top left-hand corner, I have light bleed. Now, I don't know whether it's because of the material that they're using, and this being a orange color, but as you can see, it looks like it's melting in the top left-hand corner. But it's no biggie. It doesn't really make a massive difference to me. A little bit of um, tape in the top corner will, yeah, rectify that. I just haven't got around to it. I should have really done it when I modded the console itself. Okay, so let's quickly just turn it off. So this is what you're going to get. It really is nice. I think the buttons and the layout is fantastic. We have our usual D-pad. Now, I've been using this D-pad for quite a while. It's really nice. It's really responsive. It's got a nice travel to it. It's quite chunky, but it feels comfortable in your thumb. Now, 
as you know with the switch buttons themselves they're fantastic they're really responsive they're lovely to use i think it really is so overall i just think it's great so let's turn it on and see if we're going to have any light bleed with this version No, there is no light bleed. So it looks like Power Kitty is actually sorted out. Yeah, we have no light bleed whatsoever. I'd love to know in the comments, guys, if you have one and did you have any light bleed and did you have any issues with the, the first batch? I think that was just, yeah, a, a couple of mismatch batch of RGB. 10 maxes that were out there and delivered but yeah i absolutely love this version i think it looks really really stylish it looks really really nice okay so as you know the gameplay itself we we're rocking the rock chip no need to get out the specs we all know what it is i think every system for the last six months is the same bloody thing so which is a bit annoying now, one thing that I don't know if it's true, but whether it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but I do believe, let's go to brightness. Mm, we're on 100% brightness. Now to me, this version seems darker than the original version that I have on this one but only time will tell. So let's just do some quick searching on games, what you're gonna get if you buy it. So we've got Wonderswan. We have quite a lot in there. It does come with art and artwork, which is pretty nice. We've got Wonderswan Color. No artwork for this one. CPS one. Oh, Chinese, but we have pictures to indicate what it is. CPS2, same thing, but at least we have imagery. CPS3, same thing. We have Amiga. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've got a good selection of Amiga games there. All the old school games. Absolutely solid. The MSX. Yeah, so it does come with a lot of cheeky, 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 naughty ROMs. Game Boy. So some has imagery and some doesn't, but you can just go into the settings once you set up the Wi-Fi. 64. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, oh no, that's a uh, 3DO I think, Ports, Beats of Rage, Thomas Wave, Sega Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, Genesis Dreamcast, Let's see what we get with Dreamcast. Oh, we got a nice selection of Dreamcast games, actually. Cool, okay, so let's just jump into one. This is stock, guys, so I haven't had a chance to tinker around or change the emulators or update the OS. So please, please don't judge the performance. out of the box. I didn't actually notice what Emulec it was. Maybe it was 4.1, I think, maybe. 4.1 test. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think, guys, of the Panda version. I think it's really, really nice. I like the fact that the screen came actually attached inside with no yeah, no details of it coming out and also the light bleeding fixing.
Okay, so the analogs aren't working. I think on Emulec 4.1, it was click both buttons in. Yep. Okay, let's go to options. Yep, that's cool. Now the analog is working. Okay, let's test out some more emulation. Let's go with some code name Veronica. The screen looks really nice, guys. Go on, get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces. One thing I actually love about the RGB 10 is even though it's a single speaker and not stereo, the sound is really nice. The speaker that they've actually used pumps even a little tiny bit of bass as well, so it sounds really nice. Okay, let's move on to something else. Great game, codename Veronica, one of my favorite Resident Evils. Okay, let's try out some Neo Geo CD.
out some PlayStation. Let's go with um, let's go with Need for Speed. Lamborghini Contash. game.
Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This was just a unboxing and having a look and checking out the new version of the RGB 10 Max. I absolutely love this handheld, guys. If you haven't got one already, I strongly recommend it if you're a collector. But if you're just getting into emulation, uh, you've come across this video, this is one that I would highly recommend. For all you new subscribers, welcome. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the like button. Please consider being a member of the Sonic community. And as always, guys, take care.